Once you go to Calibre's website and download their program, you'll have an icon located on your desktop. So we're going to go ahead and open that up and walk through a fairly quick conversion process for a manuscript. Now, it always gives you this quick start guide that you can check out if you'd like to know more about the program. Otherwise, you have all of these icons along the top that make it really easy for you to play around with it and figure it out for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Books because I'm going to add my manuscript to my library and I have that one ready to go so I'm going to open it and I added that quick to the library there and you can see the format is currently in Word document I don't have a cover photo for it yet which is okay if you are just working on your manuscript formatting right now you don't have to worry about the cover photo yet but you'll want to for a finished file all right now I'm going to head to the top again and click on convert books and it brings up this new section where I have my input format as docs. And on this side, I have my output format, which is currently EPUB. Now it gives you in this drop down a lot of different options to convert your file into. So whatever you are looking for, it even has PDF, the Mobi file, the EPUB. I'm going to stick with EPUB. And you have your title, author, author, sort, and publisher there. You can add in yourself as your publisher if you'd like. When you're ready to change your book cover, you click here on this little icon and insert your book cover. And on the left hand side here, I don't typically use any of these menu options. You can explore them if you'd like, but I have never had the need to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see down here at the bottom, it that quickly formatted your book and changed the file to the EPUB so you can see the different formats there. Now to view the new file, I'm going to click on the view button at the top. And once that has popped up, I'm going to use the arrow keys and just start proofing everything. Now I have my full title page here starting off with my title, my author name, and a logo with the publishing company. That's totally up to you what you'd like to put on that full title page. Next, I have my copyright page formatted and ready to go and the table of contents, which I had inserted into my Word document. And you can see it has the hyperlinks for each section and a very, very short introduction and my half title page, which is letting the readers know that the story is about to begin and it's concluding the front matter section of my book. Now I've got chapter one here and everything looks really good right now. As I continue on, you can see my graphic there and the correct indentation right after that section. And the end of chapter one, and I had added in that section break to make sure that chapter two would start on a new page. All of this looks correct. Now I added in these two graphics because I wanted to show you how you can have graphics be on a separate page. Obviously I know this looks clunky and not good right now, but I added in a section break here so that both of these pictures would be on their own separate page and I added another section break at the end of the second picture so that the words would, of the story would just continue on the following page. And then we have end of chapter two. Chapter three looks correct. We've got the end and we have our epilogue at the very end. That is as simple as it gets. If you need to make any changes, you can just go back, fix it on your manuscript and re-upload to Calibre. You have a lot of different other options here. If you would like to explore them, you can. Otherwise, it's really as simple as that. I really love how quick and easy this program is to convert as I'm working on formatting the manuscript. I can make little tweaks and re-upload into Calibri really easily and see how it's going to look from a reader's point of view. If you liked this video and are interested in a complete guide to learn all the steps to create your book and self-publish it, check out my Notebook to Real Book online course. Link in the description below along with some other free resources.